small world is a cornerstone for digital transformation. The data drives everything, right? So what comes out of small world drives all these other things, all these things that GE offers, you know, ADMS, some of the other things that GE offers, advanced grid analytics. If you're using small world, you can plug these things in very easily. Um, you know, and they're all being, being built microservices enabled. So if you think about it that way, if you're using small world, you've got, you've got access to a whole bunch of other things that you may not be doing today, but you're going to be doing soon. So Magic Minds, we like to think of ourselves as an extension of the GE team. We support customers all over the world. Our customers are uh, telco, gas, electric, and water. Over the past 20 or so years, the uh, GE, OMS, and GIS platforms have really stood the test of time. I mean, you've got customers that have been on these platforms since the late 90s. A lot of the biggest utilities in North America are using these products. So huge amount of trust has been built with GE on these platforms. I've looked at what, what the competition offers as far as a network model, and I look at the um, marketing materials that they're putting out, and I say, wow, this looks like Small World in 1999. Other companies have spent many years trying to replicate. I don't know if they're there yet, the proof is in the pudding, but you know, a lot of customers going through what, what uh, you know what the competition has to offer when they every new release is essentially a migration <laughs> so you have to do it over again network level optimization will bring in you know all your data from all these sources it could be sensors it could be ADMS it could be small world and really give you a holistic look of what's actually going on in the network you don't have the you know the GIS user can only see this stuff and the ADMS user can only see this you got users across the enterprise that can see everything. <music>